what is going on guys it's the one and only one Hennis, and today i am bringing another call of duty black ops 3 video over here onto doom tasty's channel now today guys what you're gonna be watching is a black ops 3 penta nuclear equivalent gameplay now i'll get into exactly what that means here in just a second so you're gonna see three whole nuclear metals pop up within this gameplay however those three nuclear metals are actually broken up into a 61 gun streak a 37 gun streak and another 60 gun streak so if you break those apart in total obviously getting a nuclear metal requires you to go on a 30 gun streak so if you got on a 61 gun streak at first that's the equivalent of two nuclear metals the second gun streak which was a 37 gun streak is only one nuclear metal and then the third gun streak which is another 60 gun streak is the equivalent of exactly two more nuclear metals so you add those all up that's five nuclear which is dubbed as a penta nuclear so that's why it's called a penta nuclear equivalent gameplay however you're only going to see three nuclears actually show up within this video now this is honestly a really interesting gameplay in my opinion because obviously getting a penta nuclear equivalent gameplay is very impressive however that's not exactly how it's classified here within black ops 3 which is a little bit unfortunate for tasty however this is something that infinity ward actually changed within infinite warfare if you guys actually got the chance to play the infinite warfare beta then you will know that what infinity ward did for infinite warfare there is when you're getting on your deatomizer streak you actually don't have to kill yourself in order to reset that gun streak and start working towards your next deatomizer strike as soon as you get your deatomizer the next kill you get after that with your weapon is automatically working towards your next deatomizer so this is honestly really great because what a lot of pub stompers complained about within these previous call of duties was the fact that you had to kill yourself and sort of break off this momentum that you were on in order to sort of continue getting these kills obviously when you would kill yourself that would sort of get you off of your stride a little bit you were probably getting a nice streak of kills you were probably in a good position on the map you had pretty good control of sort of the streaks you were gonna be able to go on and odds are if you didn't have to kill yourself you probably would be able to continue to go on insanely good streaks so this is honestly really good for the pub stomping scene what infinity ward has done here in infinite warfare for call of duty however it's unfortunate that we didn't have it here in black ops 3 specifically for this gameplay but he's playing core domination here on the map nuketown using the cuda very impressive that he managed to get this many kills using the cuda in core on nuketown that's just absolutely phenomenal he ends up going 177 to 5 completely non-lethal really hope you guys will go ahead and enjoy today's gameplay if you guys do a like rating would be very much appreciated let's go ahead and see if we can shoot for 150 likes over here on this gameplay i know that does seem kind of high given that black ops 3 gameplays may not be as relevant here right now because infinite warfare is sort of you know the new call of duty that's gonna be coming out right now but because we are sort of in this dry stage between the end of the beta and the release of the actual game it'll be interesting to see how you guys actually enjoy watching this black ops 3 gameplay so be sure to go ahead and drop a like if you do enjoy like i said we're shooting for 150 likes and make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to doom tasty's channel if you guys are new i don't know if you guys follow this man on twitter but if you're not make sure you go ahead and follow him because i'm over here playing the infinite warfare beta i'm pretty proud of myself i managed to personally get 10 deatomizer strikes this guy i think literally managed to drop six deatomizer strikes in one day i think in literally a span of just a couple hours the gameplays that tasty managed to get during the beta were absolutely phenomenal you guys i believe saw at least one or two double deatomizer strike gameplays over here on his channel which was far beyond anything that i was able to do and plus i believe he actually ended up getting three or four double deatomizer strikes within the iw beta which literally blows my mind this is going to be someone who you will not want to miss a single gameplay of throughout infinite warfare he's absolutely phenomenal at call of duty and it, it really just goes to show through this gameplay and through the iw beta how much of a phenomenal player tasty is at call of duty definitely someone you won't want to miss any videos from like i've said in numerous other videos but just in case this is the first one you're seeing of tasty want to make sure you're going to be able to hop on the bandwagon before he actually blows up here at infinite warfare so hopefully you guys will enjoy the video as well if you guys enjoy the commentary for whatever reason make sure you guys come and check me out my link will be down there in the description below i'm on that road to 20,000 subscribers and every little piece of support does of course as always mean the world to me but without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's get right into today's commentary topic so what i want to go ahead and talk to you guys about here really quickly towards the end of this video is what you guys think so far of infinite warfare and more specifically how you think infinite warfare is going to do here on youtube throughout the life cycle of this game obviously you guys probably know if you are involved in the youtube scene whatsoever whether you're a content creator or just a simple viewer of call of duty channels you'll know that uploads for infinite warfare really haven't been doing that well here over the last couple days and I personally think that's really because we're just in the beta stage of it right now. Not a lot of people have really grasped onto the idea that the main Call of Duty has actually been released for this year. We've only gotten the beta so far, obviously, but no one's really switched their hype over from BO3 over to IW. But there's also the whole aspect that Infinite Warfare has been getting a lot of blind hate pretty much ever since we got the first reveal trailer for it, where people saw and we got confirmation that we are going to be seeing exosuits within the game. And yet again, it was going to be another year of futuristic Call of Duty that a lot of people really were complaining about. This 
is something that people have pretty much been up in arms about ever since Black Ops 3, but I know there are some of you guys who are out there who really do enjoy the exosuit movements, or at least who don't mind it as much and are still willing to at least play the game, but this blind hate that Call of Duty has been getting is really unfair in my opinion, and all the people preaching that this is going to be the game that kills Call of Duty, I just want to give you a little bit of a news flash that this is something that people have been saying for literally years in Call of Duty. I think all the way back to Black Ops 2, people thought that Black Ops 2 was going to kill Call of Duty, and ever since then, Call of Duty, even though the sales might not be as good as anywhere near what they used to be back in, let's say, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, in terms of, you know, the player base and the copies sold, Call of Duty is still a very successful game in my opinion, and they still push out amazing titles every single year, considering it is a game that can come out with a new title every year and still be successful in many respects. So let me know what you guys think about all that down there in the comment system below. I'll be interested to hear what you guys have to say. Hopefully you all did go ahead and enjoy today's video, though if you guys did, like I said, a like rating would be very much appreciated. 150 likes is our goal. Subscribe to Tasty's channel and my channel if you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below, hashtag IW if you watched up to this point in the video. And anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming, and as always, stay cool. Adios.